guys welcome to vlogmas day six so i've been doing a lot of vlogs recently which hence the name it's vlogmas but i really wanted to sprinkle in some other forms of content throughout the month of december so for vlogmas day six i'm going to be sharing with you guys my updated everyday makeup routine i started off on youtube posting makeup videos and i haven't posted one in a little while now so a new makeup video is definitely needed don't forget to subscribe like and comment if you want to and let's jump into the video so my skincare is all nice and done so we are gonna go into my makeup prep i only use one product for my makeup prep and it is the merit great skin instant glowy serum Although my skincare is already glowy, this is my holy grail product because a lot of my skincare products are water-based But all of my makeup products are oil-based and if you know anything about trying to apply oil-based makeup over water-based skincare You would know that your makeup will pill like crazy So using the serum not only gives me super glowy skin It also makes my makeup work properly while still using the skincare that I love for foundation I'm going back to my tried and true and it is the wet and wild photo focus foundation i'm taking a elf complexion duo brush and i'm just going to bounce this into the skin i like to start off with a brush first and then i go over it with a beauty blender later just to make sure that there's no brush strokes I also want to mention that I use the shade Soft Beige Light Medium. Taking that beauty blender now and just going over the foundation just to make sure that there aren't any lines. I'm going to go in with some bronzer now and I use the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick. I have mine in the shade Baked. And I am just putting these in normal areas that you would put bronzer. And then I'm going to take that same foundation brush and just tap out all of that bronzer i've just noticed that with using cream products it's a lot easier for me to use a brush first and then as always after everything is applied i'm going to go over with my beauty blender again but i love this bronzer i've talked about it multiple times on my channel if you go back and you watch any of my makeup videos from last year you would see that i have talked about this bronzer quite a bit i change up my blushes very often and the one that i'm using right now is from merit it is their flesh balm cheek color and i have mine in the shade cheeky it is this gorgeous deep pink color but it doesn't turn up on the skin that way it actually turns up a bit lighter on my skin tone but i think that it works perfectly and i love this color for the holiday season i'm using an elf buffing foundation brush to apply this blush do not be afraid of blush i am a blush girl i over apply blush i love it it's my favorite makeup step now for concealer my concealer i also like to change quite often i was using the merit concealer for a little bit and then i switched over to the kosas concealer back when i first started youtube i was into the nars radiant creamy concealer which it's still one of my faves but right now i'm using the hourglass vanish concealer this is in the shade fawn and i actually just picked this this up over black friday i actually had a lighter shade in this concealer that i was using for brightening purposes and i loved it so much that i had to get the hourglass vanish concealer in a shade that i can use every day so i just applied that into the inner corners of my eyes the outer corners my chin and then under my nose but we are gonna let that sit for a little bit and i'm gonna go in with the anastasia beverly hills brow freeze this is a brow styling wax and i've been using this for a very long time this is actually my second one that i have purchased in the past year i just love a good slicked down brow that is the vibe that i've been on ever since it became a trend but i like to wait for the brow wax to kind of settle a little bit before i do in my brows so we're gonna come back to that but we're gonna blend out the concealer now and i just use a beauty blender to do this i always start at the lower portion of my face and work my way up so bigger areas like my chin i will use a beauty blender but for the areas like under my nose i like to use a brush and just tap it in and then back in with the beauty blender for under the eyes I always drag the concealer up into my temple. Immediately after my concealer is blended in, I'm going to go in with powder. And this is the Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder from Charlotte Tilbury. I have mine in the shade 1. And I just press this under my eyes using a small brush. This is a Morphe R13 brush. I don't actually know what it's meant to be used for. But for me, it's the perfect brush to use for under the eyes. It just mattifies under the eyes. I haven't had any 
issues with this powder. It has worked through all of the makeup that I've tried over the past year. I'm gonna touch up some bronzer and I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. This is in the shade zero one i don't like a super deep bronze i just want to touch it up just a little bit and then i will always go in and touch up with some blush after that because sometimes the color of the blush can fade and now it is time to finish up the brows the shape of the brows is good i just want to fill in the sparser areas and so i'm going to use the anastasia dip brow pomade and i have mine in the shade soft brown call me old but i will always love my dip brow I really am not adding a lot of product even though it looks like it. After I do that, I just take a little bit of that concealer and I clean up under the brows. Cleaning up under the brows will always do it for me. It is something I've always done no matter how often the makeup trends have changed. Now that we're almost done, the base is pretty much complete. I just need to put on some mascara and I've been using the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. The mascara is what is gonna pull the entire look together. To seal everything in, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I'm very generous with setting spray, but I'm just gonna fan my face to let all of that dry. To finish off the look, I'm gonna go in with my Rode Lip Tint. This is in the shade Toast. And that completes my updated makeup routine. Thank you guys so much for watching Vlogmas Day 6. Please leave any other video recommendations you guys have in the comments down below, and I will make sure to read through them. And I will also be linking as much products as I can in the description for you guys to make it easy for you guys to shop any of the products that I personally use and love. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you want to, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 7. Love you. Bye!